you need to build an environment that fosters that plan. Well, an environment that supports your plan. Okay? I'm going to tell you one thing. Your friends can be your best asset in your life. But they can be also detrimental. Because they can be judgmental. Oh, you're, you're eating like a... Like a you're eating grass like a cow now? What, what do you mean you don't eat meat? You, you're eating grass like a cow? Cows eat grass, right? Yeah, or like a horse. Or, wait, are you a giraffe now? Long neck, yeah, boy. They're going to start ranking you, okay? We're going to talk now. about how to get fit for 2020. Come on, let's go keep pushing. Come on, faster. You got it. Come on, let's go. Now, if your friends are going to keep ranking you, I'm not saying give up your friends, but I'm just saying find some healthy friends. So you, you, you could have friends that you socialize and rank each other. You could have friends you go out with. You could have your spiritual friends, and you could have your motivational friends, like the holistic motivator here, your day. But then you have your health friends. That's the secret now. Get in the community that supports what you want to do. Maybe a Facebook group, maybe a, a coaching group. That's another thing, you get yourself a coach, you know. So I'm a, what I call a holistic mental health coach. I can be your fitness coach, because I'll show you how to meditate, I'll show you how to exercise, and I will just ask you questions so that you can see more about yourself, where, that, where, where it's lacking. So a coach is always good. Don't ever think that you can't get coached. I get coached. The best people get coached. Everybody get coached. So to execute the plan, build an environment that supports your goals. You know what I mean? Maybe now you have to start joining health Facebook groups. Facebook groups are pretty cool because you can learn so much, meet other people, go to events. So the thing, when was the last time you went to an event? Like when was the last time you actually said, okay, I'm gonna go to a health and wellness event? Like I host workshops and I haven't seen some of you there, right? So when was the last time you said, I'm gonna go to this event? If you're not switching from club to health and wellness expo, your body is not gonna switch from fat to fit. Our community more than ever needs to take a holistic approach. Now, at night, I have nightmares if I don't do this, you know what I mean? You know how God calls you to do something and you're like, okay, God, I'm gonna go do it, I'm gonna go do it. Maybe next year, maybe next year. I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Maybe I'm gonna do it, maybe I'm gonna do it. It's like, but then you're tortured by your own mind. You remember the budding heads? It happens literally when you butting head, budding heads. Don't butt heads with yourself. The whole world is literally butting heads with you. you. You turn on your TV, look at the media, and you're like, God, what's going on? The world is like on fire. If there's fire outside of you, why not have peace and water inside of you? The goal is to be peaceful and at peace. And what happens is the foods that we eat, the thoughts that we think, the negative energies become turmoil. It literally becomes heat in our bodies, right? And that heat, is not good, okay? So that's why I teach people how to meditate to slow yourself down and to exercise and to eat healthy foods. Now, am I perfect? Definitely not. But here's the thing, in my imperfection, I continuously thrive for perfection within my imperfection. What I mean by that is I keep my, my mind state and my values so stern that even if I derive away, get away from it, I get back on it. You know what I mean? So I found myself struggling with some chips. Like there was like Ruffles chips. I'm going, I'm going to be truthful with y'all. I didn't eat chips for like two, three years since I became a trainer. Then as soon as I went back to my childhood uh, place, I, it's just like chips just kind of like came back up. Why? Because when I was a kid, I used to go to the corner store and get chips. So now I moved back and I'm like, okay, now I'm going to get chips again. Now you may say chips are not that bad. No, chips are deadly. Okay, but it's like every time I buy a chip, I, there's guilt. You're like, oh, there's so much guilt here. 
So now I'm at a point I cannot buy chips. I will not buy chips. And guess why? Guess why I do not buy chips? Here's how I think of it. If this was a chip now, this is like coffee, which is also bad. But I have my vices, you know? Next year, it's gonna be jinxing. I'm gonna start to let go of uh, coffee. It's just, I'm a Haitian and, you know, those love their coffee. But let's say this is a bag of chip. Every time you look at this bag of chip, what if you say, this chip is killing me? Now, that may be a little extreme, but this chip is killing me. Do you really want to eat it? Nah, you don't, because it's killing you. So you say, forget the chips, I want to live. So you make a choice to live. That's when maintaining the plan comes. Now maintaining, that's the tough part. I've trained all types of people and I've seen them lose 20, 30, 40 pounds. And I'm like, yes, you got it. But they didn't maintain it. And do I feel bad about it sometimes? Yeah. But do I feel incompetent? No because I realized it's hard to maintain. It's hard to maintain. It's a constant battle, constant battle, constant battle. But you gotta keep selling lifestyle to yourself, selling to lifestyle to yourself. Maybe you need a retreat. I went to these holistic wellness retreats and it's a good way to rejuvenate. Get yourself in a community of people who are trying to change your lives. You cannot change your life with people who's not looking to make a change because they're gonna be weights instead of the booster or gas or the rocket launcher. You need rocket launchers in your life. You know, people to, people to launch you to the next level, rather people that says, oh, what are you eating? Are you a rabbit, black rabbit? You know what I mean? When well, I'm eating carrots, people are looking at me weird. You want your friends to congratulate you for eating healthy. Have, you know, like build some of those health friends. Literally go on Instagram, go on Facebook. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. Go on Facebook and just be like, I need some health friends. I need some motivational friends. I need some money getter friends. You can have, you can keep all your friends. Just have friends for specific things. You know, have your spiritual friends, your health friends. I said that before. That's a good way to maintain the plan. Now, if you're really gonna maintain, you need to have some self-reflection, right? I'm gonna talk about the binge eating disorder. I'm gonna talk about all of those other eating disorders that we literally have. It's psychology. There's so much more going against you. Like, they, the science guys, they go to the labs and they literally figure out how to get you. That's the problem. You think it's you. You think you suck. You think you can't, though you think you're weak. But what if you had science trying to get you? It's not gonna be easy. You know what I mean? It's really not. Maintaining the planet is the work. But once you sell yourself a certain, those same things that you've been selling, like they, you were sold by the science guy, by your parents, by the media, drink milk. Milk creates mucus, which blocks you. Milk is bad, dairy is not good. You've been programmed for like 18, 24, 25, even 30 years or 40 years of your life. You think you're gonna do unprogram? You're gonna unprogram yourself in two weeks, the three week, 21 day get slim program? No, it's gonna take some years. But those years, you have to be resilient. You gotta keep coming back again and again and again because it's worth it. You're fighting for your life here. Some people think, oh, I'm just fighting for six pack abs. When you really get to the next level, you realize six pack don't mean nothing. Like I have a six pack, but I don't care about it anymore. What I care about is feeling good and being alive. So do you wanna live? Do you wanna live? And when you're living, do you wanna be alive? Do you wanna be energized? That's what we're fighting for. We're fighting for life, literally, because things are going down the drain right now. I'm telling you, in the next 20 years, now is the time to start. So I am really trying to get you to start because I know how things really are. And I know life is stressful. There's things to do. And some people say they don't have time. You mean to tell me you have 40 hours to give to the slave master. Now I know I'm saying it like that. Maybe some people might be offended. I'm not gonna say that, okay? Let's take that out. You have 40 hours to give to your job, but you don't have four hours to give to yourself. Is your job worth more than you? Is your life less than the life of a company that will get you out like that? I don't think so. Listen to me. Your life matters way more than any job. Because a job can give you a paycheck, but they cannot give you more years. There's literally a movie where 
time was the currency and to get and buy stuff, you have to give time. And this is what we literally do. We give people time. And when we get stress levels, we live, when we're at work, we're not only giving eight hours, we're giving eight hours plus one extra hour for every stressful moment that happens. Every stressful moment, every like anxiety, all of the things accumulate and diminish your life. Every lost sleep and lost energy and pizza and whatever, all of it, takes away from your life. So if you're literally giving all of that to the job, I'm not telling you not to have a job. Like some of you have found your passion within your job. I'm just saying, make yourself a job too. And if, you're, if your work doesn't have a health program, get on them. Be like, we need a corporate health program. We need some sort of fitness advice. We need, we need access to this. We need access to that because your life matters. And do not let corporations take all your time from your kids, from your wife, from your friends, from your dreams, and then not give you any time for yourself. You know what I mean? And then you go home and then you spend more time giving to other companies. You know, when we watch TV, we're giving our time to other companies and they get to sell to us again at home. So we double, we're losing so much time, okay? There's so much time that's being lost. So spend some time on yourself. Spend some time in a community that will help you grow. Come to one of the workshops that I have. Come to like the different things. Just maybe go follow the YouTube, join the email list. You know, there, there are certain people in the world who just really want to help. And like, I know if I say, oh, I'm one of those people. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to want to say, you tell me for yourself. You tell me for yourself if you think I'm trying to like get you. You tell me for yourself if you think I'm just trying to be authentic. And some people would just go to the guy who's just trying to make some money. Or you could go to the guy who's trying to help, which means... I'm putting all this stuff out there as much as I can, and a lot of times there is no views or whatever, but I just want to let you know that I am rooting for you. My goal is to help you achieve your goals. I found out this one thing about my life is that my goal in life is not to be the greatest, but my goal in life is to make you great, not make you. My goal in life is to inspire you to find your greatness and become great. I don't care to be the greatest. I want you to be great. And the only way you can do that is if you intentionally go home today and say, okay, let me go down and see how am I going to set up a plan? What habits do I need to build to stick to that plan? How am I going to execute that plan? And what am I going to do to maintain? Okay. And to maintain, you need encouragement, you need a community, and you need grit and persistence. Don't never let anybody tell you that you cannot do this. Okay. Because they're putting your, their limitations on you. Tell them, listen, don't place your limitations on me. Your limitations have no effect on me. Don't place your limitations on me. Like, don't say just because you can't do it. Just be like, oh, where are you going to get your protein from? Yo, I don't, I don't know. Where do you get your protein from? You know what I mean? Like, don't let them put your, their limitations on you. I want you to be, begin to raise the bar from yourself because that's what they say when you below the glass ceiling. Most of us were living below our glass ceiling because people are putting limitations on you. Don't let them put no limitations on you. You are limitless. Unlimited, powerful beings who've been diminished, diminished, diminished their whole life. And now 2020 is the time for you to take your power back because if you don't right now, right now you need to be strong. You need to be powerful. You need to be energized. And you need to have that sort of mindset that your life is in your hands and it's for you to do something with it. You've been given the currency of life and unless you take that currency and turn it into a profitable business called yourself, your life will continue to diminish, diminish, the health will diminish, diminish, diminish. So raise the glass ceiling on your health potential and then you will see, you start to see how much you begin to expand. Your spirituality is literally linked to the things that you do. Your spiritual connection links to what's taken within your body, what's going into your mind, your mental factory, your physical factory. All of that affects your spiritual being. And in the church, they never talk about any of that, okay? People will be like, okay, don't sin. What does sin mean? Sin is not just, you know, I'm not even going to go there. That's my message, and I'm sticking to it, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to thank you so much for watching this webinar or online seminar or at this YouTube video, The Holistic Motivator, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. Somebody might like this video, so be sure to share it. And it was my pleasure to serve you. 
Remember, you have the unlimited power in you to achieve whatever it is that you want. To create the body that you want, to get fit for 2020, but you have to believe it and you have to change your mindset. Stop identifying with your past and identify with your true self, which is your fit self. That's my message and I'm sticking to it. And until you believe it, the world will forever miss the fit you, the beast you, the motivational you, and the best you. That's it. It's the Holistic Motivator. It was my pleasure to serve you. I'm out. Remember, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, and the Instagram. Peace.